Welcome to 2-Bit Gaming. Today's topic, Nintendo Entertainment System Repair. Okay, here it is, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES for short. I usually just call it the Nintendo. For a lot of you out there, this was probably your first console. Or you at least have very fond memories of playing it in your PJs on a lazy Sunday afternoon. It was released back in 1985, so it's getting pretty old. Also, due to a design flaw, it's prone to hardware failure. When you're trying to play a game, does your NES give you the red flashing light? Or the dreaded green screen of death? Don't throw it away! I'm going to show you a simple repair that could make your system almost as good as new. For this maintenance job, you will need one Phillips screwdriver, one tiny standard screwdriver, like those that come in eyeglass repair kits, one towel or sheet, one bowl, one can of compressed air. Also, it would be a good idea to wear rubber gloves so you don't transfer oils onto sensitive parts of the system. Disclaimer! By performing this repair, you risk accidentally damaging your NES. I am not responsible for any damages you may inadvertently cause to your system. I do not guarantee that this repair will fix your console, as there may be many causes of the flashing red light. By continuing to watch this tutorial, you agree to do this repair at your own risk. Okay, place the towel or sheet on a table. This will keep things from rolling off or getting scratched. Now turn your NES upside down. There are six screws. Remove them and place them in a bowl. Then turn the system back right side up and remove the top outer cover. Next we must remove the protective plate. Remove the screws. There are also two screws mounting the mainboard. Place them in the bowl and remove the plate. This would be a good time to clean out the last 15 or 20 years of dust. Now we must remove the plastic cartridge loader ejector. Place the screws in the bowl and take note of the two longer gray screws. They must go back in the same place. Now this part is optional but I think in the long run it's easier to remove the 72 pin connector from the mainboard. It's a little difficult to pull off, so don't force it. Just gently pull back on one side and then the other until it slides off. This is the thing that has been giving you the flashing red light. You see, since the game cartridge is meant to press down on these pins, over time the pins bend down and no longer make contact with the cartridge. To fix this, we will simply bend the pins back to their original shape. Take your tiny screwdriver and gently push it under the pin. Now pry it up until the pin touches the top of the plastic connector. Do this gently. Do not force it. And be careful not to bend it too far or you could damage the pin. Do this for all the 72 pins. It's tedious, but it's worth it. Now with the pins repaired, we can reattach the 72 pin connector. Gently slide it back on while making sure it lines up with the main board leads. Okay, let's test it before reassembling the rest of the system. Put a clean game cartridge in. It may be more difficult than you're used to because the pins fit more snugly now. For safety reasons, put the top cover on. Now plug the system in. Be careful! Do not touch anything inside while it's plugged in. You could sustain an electrical shock. Turn the system on. There, it's working. Great. Our repair did the job. If it still doesn't work, you may need to bend the pins a little more or use a cleaning kit. You may now reassemble your Nintendo. Make sure to insert the gray screws in the right spot. Don't forget to mount the protective plate. Put the cover back on, flip the system, and screw in the bottom screws. There! Now you have a fully working Nintendo Entertainment System. That's almost as good as new. Now it's time for Kane's 2 Bits! 1. Don't throw out your classic gaming systems at the first sign of distress. The warranty ended years ago, so you really have nothing to lose by trying to fix it yourself. 2. If something breaks, fix it. If you don't know how to do it, find out. If you still can't fix it, that's wussy talk. Fix it anyway. Sometimes all you need is a cheap spare part or a simple tutorial. That's my two bits. If you have any console repair tips, please leave a comment or video response. As always, I'm your humble 2-bit gamer. Thanks for watching.